Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at an extension today that is as simple as it is powerful, and that is TrueBend from TomTom. So it's available right now in the extension warehouse. I suggest you go grab it, download it for free. It is a very, very useful tool, and we're going to take a look at why and how it works. So basically, what TrueBend allows you to do is select grouped geometry. It does have to be in a group. Once I click on the True Bend icon, and this is it, this is all of the UI, by the way, this one button. If I click on True Bend, I get a little bit of user interface. I get some breaks here. It's showing me this, this one piece is going to get broken into some smaller pieces. And I get a handle right here. If I click and drag the handle, it's going to bend that shape. So if I want to, I can type in a specific angle. If I look in the lower right corner, it does tell me that I'm specifying the angle right now. It's almost 180, but if I just type 180 and hit enter, it'll update the preview. So this is 180 degrees. At this point, I can hit enter to accept that bend, or I can right click and say commit or cancel. And so I do have the option of turning the segments or the smoothing on and off. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna leave those turned on and just say commit. And there we go. Boom, that is it. It just does that one thing. It bends across that front face there. And one of the really impressive things is this right here. I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna hop into this group and select this line and see that it is currently eight feet. So if I come out here, do my true bend again, and I'm just gonna arbitrarily drag it somewhere I like, hit enter. If I come in here and I do a group select, I'm trying to get only these, uh, these lines on the front here. Make sure I didn't get any segments in the back. Nope. Look at what the length is. It's right about eight feet. I say right about because, you know, due to math kind of stuff, uh, there's a little bit of maybe shortening or lengthening of these lines, but you can see it's it's real close. It's it's less than a sixteenth of an inch off of eight feet here. So it is a very cool thing that it holds on to that length and bends it around. It does maintain that front line length. So that's another thing to understand is that front line. So we have some examples over here that can kind of dive into what that means exactly. When I'm talking about the front line, when I pick the group, it is this surface, the front of the container, that front line right there, that's what it's going to rotate about. So when I hit true bend, you can see that is the line that it uses. So I'm gonna pull this out like that, and I'm just gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna go to this next group here, click on it, True bend, and look what happens. First thing I know, there's something different about this group because my controls show up on the back side. If I click and drag it, look what happens there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter just to see that. It bent to about the same degree, but it bent around the back side. The secret here, I'm gonna undo both of those, is that orientation. So if I click in here and look at the axes for this group, I can see the red line across the front here. If I double click on this group over here, my red line, whoop, is actually on the back side. So that means when I use true bend, this one is going to bend along the front, and this one is going to bend along the back. It all has to do with where that red axis is in the group. So what about this shape right here? Well, if I double click here, you'll see the red axis is actually on the short side here. So when I pick it and I hit true bend, watch, this is going to be fun it's gonna bend like that. So it pulled, it bent across that short side. So not a big deal, just important that when you go in here, when I am setting up geometry, I wanna make sure that I have my axes tool if I need to aligned to whatever face I want to bend across. So that's pretty simple. These were all kind of rectangular shapes, but true bend works just as well on other shapes, odd shapes. So if I take this gear right here and say true bend, I can drag it out like this a little bit. Go ahead and hit enter. If I want to put another bend on it, all I have to do is come in here and I can select my geometry if I want. I can, maybe I'll rotate it like this and you know, I'll actually rotate it this way too. And then when I come out, I can pick it and say true bend and bend it a second time along the other axes. So, it really is simple. It's, it's a piece of cake to go in there and just grab geometry and start bending it around. There are other extensions out there that do things similar to what TrueBend does. Um, some of them offer uh, more deeper controls. 
uh, lets you get a little bit deeper with how you're going to move stuff around, that kind of thing. But the cool thing about TrueBend is just the simplicity. TomTom Tom boiled it down to a single function, and that is grab that, set the degrees, bend it, and that's it. So check it out. TrueBend now available on the extension warehouse from TomTom. Tom. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully you liked that. If so, let us know what you liked, or if there's something that we could improve, let us know that too. If you like it, go ahead, hit like, maybe subscribe, and you'll get to see the next video that comes out. We like making videos like this, but they're much more useful when they show you something that you want to see. So keep letting us know. Thank you.